let me give you the basic outline of the experiments that we're going to be able to do to test Faraday's law. So I'll put the equation here because this is what we're going to, to be testing. And what kind of experiments can we do? Well, the general setup is I'm going to take a coil of wire, not, not unlike this, only a little bit bigger and a few more windings. So I'll take some wire and we'll wrap it around PVC pipe. We can wrap more than five windings around. So this will, the PVC will just hold it. And then we'll connect a voltmeter to this. And actually this will be the vernier voltage probe we used in the, in the capacitance lab. And the nice thing about it is the computer can make a measurement and save it and take a measurement and save it over and over again. So this will be just the coil of wire. And then we'll take a magnet north south and we'll drop it and it'll go whoop, down through the through the loops and what happens then we get a changing flux now before the magnet gets there the flux is zero there's no magnetic field i put the south end coming down first and the north up but we can flip it over and see what happens so we'll just drop the magnet and as the magnet gets closer and closer the magnetic flux goes up and it goes through when it goes through for a little while the flux won't change so the EMF will be zero. And then as it goes out, the magnetic flux will go down. So we should see a reversed effect. So drop a magnet through N loops. OK, capital N is the number of loops um, of wire. And we'll measure the EMF. Now the EMF will be constantly changing. So for our experiment, in order to get an idea of how big of an effect this, this is, we can just take the maximum EMF of that constantly changing curve. We could take the, minim, the most negative value or the most positive value or the, absolute, the biggest absolute value. I'm going to leave it up to you, to, again, to design your experiment and the analysis. You can do that part. What, thing would, would you measure that will be the same for each one of these curves that will be a measure of how strong the, uh, um, the EMF effect is. So here's what we can do. One, one of the experiments I, I mentioned, we can flip the magnet over and the magnet will be, uh, we'll use some little pellets. And I'll give you a 10 magnetic pellets. I will have 10 magnetic pellets. Drop them through and that will have the strength of 10 pellets of magnet. We'll flip it over and we'll run it through uh, upside down and see what happens to the EMF. Now the log Logger Pro will record the voltage, not just the maximum, but it'll record it all through the experiment. So we'll get to see a curve of the voltage, the EMF, as the magnet goes through and make measurements from that. So we'll see what happens when you flip the magnet over. And in some sense, that's the minus sign in here. Um, because it changes the sign here. The other thing we can do is we can add more wire. So we'll start with 20 windings of wire or so and then add another 10 and another 10 and another 10. Each time I'll drop the, the magnet, the same magnet from the same height to get the same speed and we'll measure the voltage and see what happens. So we'll change N in the equation. We can change um, the strength of the magnetic field. The flux depends upon how strong the magnet is. So what, since we have magnetic pellets, I can take pellets off. And so instead of having 10 magnets, I'll have nine magnets or eight magnets. And so the magnetic field in this experiment, the strength of the magnetic field, uh, I'm gonna call capital M the number, it's an integer, the number of magnetic pellets times B naught will be the strength of one magnetic pellet. So when we've got, this will be 10 pellets and the field lines, Magnetic field lines never end. They just come out and come back around. And so, um, and they don't, they don't start or stop. And so when we add 10 magnetic pellets, they'll have 10 times as many field lines. If we have five magnetic pellets, well, M equals five, we'll only have five, mag, uh, five times the magnetic field strength. So again, we'll do our experiments where we drop different magnets, different strengths of magnets, numbers of pellets through and measure the voltage. And then finally, because Faraday's law depends on 
the rate of change, the time rate of change of the flux. We'll go back to 10 pellets, but we'll we'll uh, increase the speed of the uh, magnet when we drop it, and the and then it'll, this will change faster. It'll be the same flux, same amount of change, but it'll happen more quickly, and we see what what that does to the EMF. If this happens more quickly, what do you expect for the EMF? And we'll do that by dropping the magnetic pellets from higher and higher and higher up. And of course, then it drops gravity. That's physics, physics one lab. And when it gets down to the bottom uh, to go through the loops, how fast is it going? It's going to be going faster if we drop it from, from higher on. So we'll be able to test that part. So these are four different experiments that let us um, test four different aspects of Faraday's law.